Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? It's Pooter here. In today's video, I have a, I have a, a pretty interesting video, and I'm gonna be talking about the 48 laws of power and three of my favorite laws from the book that I actually use. I actually use these laws, so I have my experience. I got, I'm gonna read the little paragraph that comes with each law, and yeah, it's gonna be a pretty interesting video, man. Before we get started, though, there's Robert Greene right here. I'm about picture right here. There's Robert Greene right here next to two chicks. Rate them up however you like, preference or not doesn't matter pretty old picture but the point of this video is that i want to highlight these three laws and tell you how you could use these laws in your life and why these laws are super powerful and this is the second book i've ever read i decided to read on my own the first book was dot com circuits by russell brunson i 100 percent recommend you read that book that book is killer for business that's a very good book i i got this book i was put on to this book i was put on from youtube and my friend because i've heard of this book before because i I've been watching Taekwondo and all that, and he he did a video on this book. And I'm actually, that's the imp inspiration for me creating this video. And my friend put me on, shout out to him, he's my brother for sure. He put me on this book too. And I was like reading it, I'm like, yo, this book is tough. So I bought the book, I was reading it consistently all the time. Then I don't know what happened, I just kind of like stopped, I just stopped reading it. I don't know why, I just stopped reading it. I stopped reading it for like a month, and then I came back to it, and I finished the book, and I, now I'm reading all other types of books right now, but I would 100% recommend this book. It's a pretty good first read. It's like 450 pages, 440 pages, but it has like some side quotes or whatever. And at first it shows the laws and the little paragraphs and then the actual laws themselves. And then I have like a side, like a little sidebar. And what I did was I thought this was a pretty genius idea. You get your notes on your phone and you pick the laws you want to read first and you write those down on your phone and then read, I re read all 48, but pick the ones you want to read first and then read the ones after that. Let's hop right into the first law. Law 10, avoid the unhappy and unlucky. Let me actually read the legitimate little paragraph that Robert Greene put for it. Infection, avoid the unhappy and unlucky. You can die from someone else's misery. Emotional states are as infectious as diseases. You may feel like you are helping the drowning man, but you're only precipitating your own disaster. Though unfortunate sometimes can draw misfortune on themselves, but they can also draw it onto you. Or they will also draw it on you. Associate with the happy and fortunate instead. And I think this was this law when I was recording this, I realized like, yeah, well, you kind of do it too. You, I mean, you want to help people that are in a low spot and help them up. But the thing is though, that's an exception to the rule and the exception to the rule does not define the rule. You right now could be watching this video. Someone could be a drug addict or whatever. How's that going to do anything to me i'm not gonna become a drug addict because someone watching my video is a drug addict you could type it in the comments and for the most part i'm not gonna know if you're a drug addict or not but the thing is that's more applicable to people around you whether at work or school especially school because school is normally when most of the bs happens the the tiktok scrollers the partiers the people the parties getting shot up and raided drugs alcohol all that type of stuff and the thing is the thing is though i hang out with pretty crazy people i'm not gonna lie but the thing is, is that I don't spend outside time with them. And the thing is, if they did drugs and alcohol in school, which is absolutely insane, then I would, I wouldn't say I would do it, but that would be kind of like a more like, bro, come on, how are you going to say this? Because they don't, they don't really do that stuff in school for sure. No, not at all. It's normally like something like outside school, whatever, some crazy stuff happens, parties, whatever it is. But the thing is, I don't really go out at all. And I don't like going out because... When you associate with these people, or birds of a feather flock together. For sure, the more the more time you spend around these people, you're gonna become like them. And the thing is, nowadays with social media, I think it's pretty interesting because like internet personalities is like for sure a thing. So it's kind of the most you spend the most time whoever you watch the most, you're gonna become somewhat like them. Which I think is a pretty interesting. And it's pretty interesting because it's kind of a, a very that's a very new thing for sure. And I don't since I don't hang out with people outside of school almost never. I'm hanging around myself the most, which I want to make myself better. So if I want to make myself better and I hang around myself the most, which you hang out with yourself the most too, then you're going to kind of like, it's like an infinite motivation glitch <laughs> that rock star can't patch. So you need to be careful for sure who you hang around with. Misery likes company. And if you always hang around people, normally it's kind of with the, if you're a girl watching this too, I do have some girl viewers too. If you're watching this too. The girls you hang around with most of the time is about drama. Oh, look what! Oh, so and so has a boyfriend. All that man. Who cares? Who cares? Like genuinely, who cares? Legitimately, play that clip. We do not care. We do not care. 
Like seriously, why does it matter to you that someone so got in this or whatever? And to me, they're for sure a thing with females. Some, if you do that as a male, that's that's insane. What are you doing? That's actually insane if you do that. But male or male or female, this this law uh, this law could apply to a turtle. It don't matter anything. You need to stay away from those people, and you need to surround yourself with the the fortunate. My friend who put me on this book was. A, like a, he's a great dude and he put me on this and he put me on this book and the people i watch i watch taekwondo all those taekwondo is like bro taekwondo is actually amazing i'm 100 recommend you watch this video so this video was inspired due to his video of the three laws he decided to pick i'm pretty sure i think two of mine are the same as his two no one of mine this one's the same as his but 100 recommend you watch his videos for sure because he talks about some deep level stuff the self-mastery video i got it mainly i based it off of his so for sure check out check him out for sure man but but the thing is too is you need to get good at being with yourself why because you're probably gonna it's not very often you find people working on their stuff especially at my age at 17 yeah you're it's pretty hard to find people that's actually getting shit done and even if you're older too if you're trying to find people that are trying to they want to get that money they want to they're willing to work 12 13 14 15 hours a day if need be they're grinding. It's pretty hard to find those people, no matter how old you are, of all ages, job, whatever. It's even in college jobs, it's pretty, pretty hard to find that. Maybe in college is a little bit more better because you could find people in degree with degrees and they're going for these crazy degrees and all that PhDs, engineering, all that type of stuff. It's a lot more easier in probably college, I would say. But even then, if you could find those people, man, and you have a strong team because it's gonna like influ it's literally an infinite influence glitch of happiness it's literally a glitch and like i said earlier rockstar can't patch it so for sure if you find the happy and fortunate for sure stick around them as much as you can the next one law 25 recreate yourself and before i read this law this book is mainly for like enemies and like like war and all that not maybe like war but like it's mainly for enemies and all that but this could still apply even to enemies or not law 25 recreate yourself do not accept the roles that society foist on you. Powerful. Recreate yourself by forging a new identity, one that commands attention and never bores the audience. And I, that one, that one's, you could debate that one. Be the master of your own image rather than letting others define it for you. Powerful again. Incorporate dramatic devices into your public gestures and actions. You, you, your power will be enhanced and your character will seem larger than life. Very powerful one. And like I said, this one's mainly for like enemies and all, I wouldn't say mainly for enemies, but this book is kind of written for like war and all that enemies and you could be an influencer or whatever, right? But with this one though, this one's, man, this could seriously change your whole, I mean, all these could change your whole, but this one is probably the most powerful one, powerful one. Read, I made a short about this a while back, redefine fun to you. For me, fun is creating these videos, learning new stuff, reading for funs. Fun for someone else my age is social media, hoes, partying, all that type of stuff, getting into trouble, whatever it is. You need to redefine fun. And by redefining fun, you also need to recreate yourself. And before, I'm not, I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, I was some saint before. For sure, definitely not. You have to learn to like do this type of stuff eventually in your life and fortunately i got it at a young age because it, it'd be pretty bad if i was i mean it wouldn't be bad if i was older but it's a lot more better than i'm doing it at a young age especially where society you're like a blank canvas and society just puts it like paints a random image on you it's powerful you can start, start doing this at a young age and i always say do not let society define who you are see yourself for who you are see yourself through the eyes of yourself not through the eyes of someone else because if you can see yourself through the eyes of someone else you you can only be as good as what they allow you to be because you're playing by their rules instead of yours. And I said this in my self mastery video. It would, it's a whole different game when you could break the game and the rules society plays on you and you pick what you want to do. Because since you pick what you want to do, you're going to win your game because you know what to do. And it all starts at a young age for sure. It really does all start at a young age because you you imitate everything around you. And for me, I started recreating myself around my junior year when I started reading this book. I didn't realize how powerful Law 25 was until I reread it now. And I always talk about self-improvement and all that. And recreating yourself is huge. Everyone has to do it. So it's a pretty low slim to none chance that you are really 
build and pe the people around you tell yourself man who cares what other people think focus on yourself lock in with the grind it's unlikely especially at a young age very much unlikely and before in my sophomore year man social media ad addict and the thing is what makes it interesting is that i wasn't posting like crazy like i legitimately if you go to my main account i don't have nothing on there like i literally don't have anything on there i don't really i wasn't like clout like a clout chaser or just like clout was one hell of a drug it was not my drug i'll tell you that for me it was just i would just scroll mindlessly for no reason for hours at a time even the, and the thing is with during school school was so boring that i would do it during school and that doesn't help either. And around in my junior year, when I started discovering this whole new like self improvement type of stuff, and just life, the better a better life in general, you learn all. It's a whole different side of the game that you don't know. And things no one tells you about it. You kind of just have to find out on your own. And if you're watching this video and you made it this far, I know you want to get shit done. And this is and watching my stuff is gonna change. I promise you, I'm gonna keep going and putting new things that's gonna help you change your life. Cause a whole different thing when you just drop all that BS and you just like, I am that I am. You just become like, accept me whether you like it or not, man. I ain't playing by your rules. I ain't playing by your rules. Who are you to tell me what I need to do? I've been myself the longest. Who are you to tell me that? I've only known you for X amount of years. And the thing is too, it can be even your parents could put, put this type of BS on you. For me that my parents are college heavy and all that time. My parents didn't go to college. My parents didn't go to college. I'm not no rich boy or whatever what whatever you want to put it but my friends they go to college but they 100 percent wanted me to go to college my dad eh, not really in like my dad's kind of more freedom on it but my mom 100 percent wanted me to go to college especially my 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 mom's side of family for sure wanted me to go to college and it was pretty hard to tell them that i i don't want to go to college i'm senior in high school right now i don't plan to go to college because i want to do this stuff i love doing this man i'm telling you staying up to that that 11 at night to 5 in the morning i like doing this stuff man and i know it's only when when this takes off man i might have to work stupid hard and i'm 100 okay with that because this is what i align with i recreate myself from this what society wants me to do and making myself look good in the eyes of others to saying fuck that man i pick my own rules and who are you to tell me what i can do when you barely even know me and you will never know me as long as i know myself never and also while i'm at it i put this picture of 50 right here I forgot to talk about it, but I put this picture of 50 because 50 for sure, when he was younger, had to go the hood and all that type of stuff. And things that when these rappers make it out the hood, you have to recreate yourself to some degree because especially things, I mainly pick 50 because now 50 does actors and all that, helping other people. And like, he's actually has hella wisdom. Things with these rappers, like what the, what the hell am I going to learn from Playboy Cardi? Sure, he made out the hood. Yeah. But what am I going to learn from a dude, from King that part? What the hell am I gonna learn from that? Something like 50 though, you can find, I guarantee right now you can look up 50 Cent inspirational quotes. That's a, This is why I, put, I picked 50 out of other rappers. Now for the very last law. I like this one a lot too. A swarm, a, assume formlessness, cause I put form and assume. But assume formlessness, law 48. I'm gonna read it real quick. By taking a shape, by having a visible plan, you open yourself to attack. Instead of taking a form, for your enemy to grasp keep yourself adaptable and on the move accept the fact that nothing is certain and no law is fixed the best way to protect yourself is to be as fluid and formless as water never never bet on stability or lasting order everything changes this one honestly this one could be the, the best law too i mean you can make a pretty good a pretty good debate excuse my voice crack it'd be a pretty good debate on why the laws are the best one but this one's powerful now especially that i'm reading it now Man, something I heard a while back, I thought was pretty interesting. I think it was from Robert Kiyosaki. He said something with a business degree, right? In college, this was another like influenced me for sure. I was like, man, I really don't want to. I, I, I kind of really didn't want to do college in general. And then that just like, <laughs> it had a more weight to it. He said with the business degrees or the curriculum, business changes all the time all the time there's no way they could update the curriculum fast enough for them to adapt to the to the changes in business why am i saying this because in in the paragraph i talked about everything changes and you need to be adapt you need to be adapted to it and it can't be so fixed in one spot especially in such a vol a volatile thing business is very volatile there's a lot of things that change you need to be a need to be kept up to date with that type of stuff but another thing with formlessness too is that 
This could be you and yourself, never sit limits to yourself. And I put Socrates here because Socrates is one of the smartest men to ever live. And you probably never heard of who Socrates is. He's a philosopher, a Greek philosopher. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he's Greek. And he taught, maybe you heard of Plato, maybe you heard of Aristotle, because he taught Plato and Plato taught Aristotle. And this dude was the one who did the allegory of the cave. And a while back, when I, when I kind of like first started doing these videos, I did the mental complexities, and I was gonna ultimately do the allegory of the cave, which I'll do that video sometime. But the thing is, though, that video is going to be super long. Super long. It's probably gonna be twice as long as my self mastery video because there's so much to unpack in that and the thing was with socrates socrates was killed for how he thought because because the government <coughs> excuse my voice again the government didn't like how socrates thought and always questioning people and all types of stuff. he would legitimately make you question your life he would like the most crazy stuff ever it could be by an apple he'll make you question your life because of an apple and you always there's always something new to learn out there you even Socrates, as smart as he was, he didn't know everything. There's always something for you to learn out there. So when you're closed-minded and you're limiting yourself to such a small space, how can you do that when there's so much to learn in life? So much. Not a single person that's ever lived legitimately knows everything. Einstein, Nikola Tesla, Socrates, Plato, all these type of people, they don't know legitimately everything. So when it comes to formlessness and you, if you create a form from yourself, oh, I want to be a rapper and I want to know all about rap. I mean, there's other things in life than just rap. And when you set a form like that, you, you limit yourself. And also be your comfort zone too. When you want to limit yourself to such a small comfort zone, your comfort zone is this big when there's a lot more out there in life. And of course, some people's comfort zones are this big, or they're small, smaller, huge, whatever. And the thing is, you have the ultimate decision to make that comfort zone bigger or smaller whatever whatever you decided to decide for it to be and also too thinking about it, this could recreate this could tie in to recreate yourself because you need to sit up there and you can't be limited to this one space and i like to do i have to go to parties and all that which is such a small space when there's so much more to life than just that and it's kind of you got maybe comply the work now play later type of thing but you need to work stupidly hard and then play later that's just stupidly hard because working 12 hours a day or whatever is not no easy, no easy feat for sure. And back again to why this ties, this why this ties in is because when you assume, when you become formless and you always learn something, you need to some degree recreate yourself because as I stated in the formless one, you're not born with, with people who tell you, oh, you need to like focus on yourself, not worry about what other people think about you. Who cares about what they think about? Most people are not like that. It's a very low chance of you're like that. You need to not let society put you in this form. Oh, this this belt, BB belts are cool. If you don't wear a BB belt, you're weird. If you don't have Jordan 1s, you're weird. If you don't have 11s, you're weird. Whatever whatever it can be. You, you wanna be, you could be a thug, whatever you, like why, why? Why do you, why do you wanna be in this spot? And who told you? To be in the spot and does that person have your intention best at heart and if it's from yourself you have your best intention at heart so you need to play by your own rules anyway that's it for today's video man he made it this far nothing but love and it's your boy pluto i'm out y'all boys stay blessed peace